Hey, what's going on, everybody? We just launched a new training series we're really excited about. It's called Grayscale Gorilla's Guide to Redshift. In this quick preview lesson, Trevor Kerr of Man vs. Machine is going to walk you through how he gets this really cool Blade Runner fog effect using redshift volume scattering. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let's jump in. All right, so in this section, we're going to talk about volume scattering. It's uh, actually quite simple to set up and is going to simulate a haze or volume in our scene. Now this is not a uh, localized volume uh, within the scene, it is actually going to trace throughout the entirety of your scene. So there are just a couple things we need to do to set this up. First we want to go to the Redshift tab and go under the Objects menu and click the Redshift environment. And the other thing we need to do is go into our lights that we want to contribute to the volume click on the volume tab and set the contribution scale to one. Now in this case uh, my light's pretty bright so we're just completely overexposing all of our volume and that's where the settings under the general tab are going to come into play. So in this case I wanted to go for a very Blade Runner-esque look. So in this case I've made a light in the scene that has a very yellow uh, color to it and then we're going to scatter through a orange volume uh, which is going to give us a very similar look to some of my favorite scenes in uh, Blade Runner. So initially we have the scattering amount and this is going to directly control uh, exactly how much scattering we're getting from our light. So if I start bringing this guy down you'll see that we're just directly affecting how much fog there is in the scene. So I'm actually going to keep scattering set to 0.1, which again looks very, very bright. And we're going to talk about attenuation. So attenuation is a pretty neat one. It's basically going to describe how much light gets absorbed in our volume as the light travels through the volume. Now it's important to note that this effect only occurs for non-infinite lights. So infinite lights and physical sky will have no effect with the attenuation value. But You'll see if I set my attenuation value to let's say 0.1, you'll see it's quite a bit denser near my light and we're uh, falling off as we get farther, farther and farther away from the light. So if I set this guy up to maybe like a 0.16, maybe 0.15, we'll get that nice yellow color that eventually falls off into this deeper orange color, which is exactly the effect that I was going for. Now phase is a rather interesting one. This is going to bias the appearance of our scattering either toward or away from the camera. So if you can imagine what it would look like if the light was going to be biased toward the camera, we would see a lot less of these silhouettes uh, and instead it would start becoming occluded by the fog, almost like a veiling flare, let's say. So if I increase my phase in the positive direction, we're going to bias toward the camera Maybe I need to flip this up to 0.16. Now we get the effect almost of like a veiling flare in that it's tending to point more toward the camera and ignore our geometry. If I set this extremely high, you'll see exactly what I mean. Now similarly, uh, let's go back down to phase of zero. If I go in the negative direction, it's actually going to bias in the direction away from the camera, which is going to have the opposite effect in this case, uh, I decided to keep my phase at zero uh, because I'm quite happy with the way that this is looking. There's also a non-light dependent uh, type fog, which you can check out in the fog section. Well, thank you for checking out the volume scattering section, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that preview lesson. If you want to learn more about this training, please click the link below. Check it all out. If you want to learn more about how Trevor and I use Redshift in production, check out this next video. Uh, Trevor and I chat a little bit about Redshift, about the training. It's a great interview. I hope you check it out. Until next time, I'll see you around.